On the day Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and seven other people met a very tragic fate. A certain type of person out there, you know exactly who they are, think that this is permissible. Isn't that horrible? I mean, you have less than an hour after headlines pop up, and these folks, they're already out there, clout chasing, throwing out things like this, because of course that's who they are. Hey there, so today I want to return to that not-so-wonderful world of cancel culture to showcase exactly what these folks represent in current year, so you understand exactly who they are and why, really, after a while, you don't just dislike, you don't just despise, but you start to hate the thing that these folks stand for. Now, in case you missed out on what transpired today, Kobe Bryant, as well as many other people, were killed in a helicopter crash. There's a lot of headlines out there talking about this. His 13-year-old daughter was killed in that as well. I mean, it's an insane thing thing to look at, and people, they're trying to make sense of it. While they do, they talk about this stuff online, and they're being met headlong by cancel culture. So you find trash statements like this, for example, that are beyond repugnant. I mean, they utilize a 13-year-old as collateral while talking about Gaia delivering karma. I mean, rest in peace, 13-year-old, but... But, and there are a lot of people that were caught in this too. You have other families that were, but hey, this is all you can see there. Congratulations on your 280 characters of in. What's terrible is people are not only being targeted as fans, but they're being targeted because they give eulogy speeches. I mean, you can see this here. The attempted, you can see that, Kobe Bryant or worse. People be idolizing celebrities for no reason. Thumb down on your Kobe Bryant speech. Thumbs down because you go out and you talk about a national symbol. And, well, you actually do so in a respectful manner. Celebrities are also making headlines and sparking backlash because of this, with Evan Rachel Woods going in and talking about a sports hero. And, of course, you know that word. It reads like these people go to the generic post store, too. They go out again, and they utilize Kobe's family. They utilize the daughter. They talk about how heartbroken they are. Are. And again, they add the caveat, but he was a sports hero. He was also a all of these things. They can exist simultaneously. You know what would be interesting? Maybe just maybe waiting for a few minutes before you post stuff like this, huh? The media is adding it into those articles as well. Off the court, Bryant's legacy was far more complicated. He was arrested in 2003 after that complaint was filed against him in Colorado. 19-year-old hotel employee claimed that Bryant, who was working to rehabilitate his knee following surgery, had and you see the claim. The legal case against Bryant was eventually dropped. Civil suit was settled privately out of court, but Bryant publicly apologized for the incident. So again, you know, don't have a court case out there. You have something that happened behind the scenes, but Kobe Bryant, he needs this added in on the day that he and his daughter met that tragic fate. And maybe that's why reactions like this are so prevalent within our society. Because, well, you have all of these mainstay figures, be them celebrities, be that the media, saying, hey, that's A-OK. -okay. So you see people out there calling him something, making jokes about him being off the court, because, hey, that's the new normal, and it's A-OK. -okay. And when I notice posts like this, they're becoming more and more prevalent, trying to get out that hot take from a blue check mark no less. It saddens me inside. I mean, these pokes, they talk about in before the eulogies begin. I come from a place where when a funeral procession drives down the road, you pull over to show your respect. You still wave at people, even if you don't know them while driving. I mean, all of these things, they're standard decorum. Maybe that sounds hokey to people, too. But compared to this culture, I mean, what do you really want? Do you truly want cancel culture as the thing stepping forward, taking center? state. I don't want to give you the idea that this is some isolated incident either or that this stuff is going to go away anytime soon. I mean, when you look at the blue check marks leading the way, you notice one thing about it. Thousand likes plus. They're getting that clout they want. When they look at this, you know, they want that socially transmitted disease. They want the current year clap, wherein people, they applaud them for such horrible stuff. And this, it happens again. And again.
And again, look at what some of these folks say, too. They want him to rot in. Well, oh, well, I wonder if that extends to his family. I mean, because you were a counselor out there, you think that that's the best way forward? Because, hey, all of this stuff, it gets you some notoriety. I hope these people get notoriety, too. I hope they get that backlash. I hope they lock down their accounts because they kind of deserve it. I'm not saying to go and give them that, but when people are online talking about it, these hot takes, oh, I mean, this is the face of current year, and this is the thing you have to oppose. I mean, you see that. I don't mourn. Ugh. I feels like a bunch of people on the timeline forgot that Kobe Bryant was. I'm sad for his family, but maybe the wrong time, but also maybe the exact right time. Here's your reminder that Kobe Bryant was uh, whose defense strategy was leaking his accuser's name for all the deranged fans to harass and threaten into dropping the case. That is all. I mean, this over and over and over again. I mean, that, it says so much about people, so much indeed. But anyway, you tell me what you think. Let me end this. I normally say something about appreciating you, and I do, but I just want to end this now. I do want to pay respects to the man. I actually want to say that his family, they're going through a lot of hard times. This is a lot of hardship to go through. They don't deserve this kind of stuff. No one does. I mean, these folks, they can't even wait to get on their pulpit, to climb up with the bodies are still out there and that that disgusts me more than i can ever say so anyway i appreciate you showing up i won't take any more of your time except to say thank you